What is up, you guys? This is, uh... Yeah, I'm back. And how awkward is that? Um, anyways, I got a lot of comments saying, uh... uh not a lot, but quite a few comments saying, uh... How do you, uh, download Alex Butte's Olympic class? So, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. Um, before, when he, uh, uploaded it, uh, first time on his site, it was different how to arrange some things onto the, uh, files, and then he updated it, kept updating it, and, uh, it made it a little bit more confusing, and I loaded it in, I'm like, why ain't the interior ain't working? Uh, well, I was like, okay, because when you're in a second person view or something like that, outside the ship, roaming around, and you go inside the ship, no interiors loaded up, I was like, hey, what the heck is this? And then... When you walk around on uh, first person view, it works. So, originally, it's supposed to do that for some reason. Which is, uh, I think it prevents, like, lag or game from the game from crashing, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, first, you gotta buy it. It's $10. So, $10 isn't bad for two packs. So, he has two packs as his website. I'll show you. Second. Oops. Alex. Here. Anywhere. Yeah, it's on this on this payware part of the thing, so yeah. You got the Olympic class right here. Titanic, Olympic, and Britannic. Uh and then you got uh the uh, Olympic and then you got the wrecks like the Titanic and Britannic. So which is pretty cool. So I bought it for ten dollars and I thought it was quite worth it. And he also has these other ships on his website too, which I highly recommend you can buy too. He's got the Queen Elizabeth, and he's got this, I don't know what that is, some Russian river cruise ship, I guess. You got the Normandy, and you got the Key Watton in 1960, 1908, and 1930. So, which is pretty nice. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's show you how to download it. First, uh, open up the, once you bought it and everything else. You open up the Rinwar file, so yeah. If you don't have Rinwar, you can download it for free. It, w it works just fine. It's, it's kind of broken, but who cares? So download Rinwar to get the zip file or whatever, and then yeah. So once you're done opening up that, uh, you want to um, read the read this because this is pretty important apparently because some people don't like to follow directions and, and that's where they get lost and yeah and you know I've been there you know I don't sometimes don't usually read their instructions I'm like hey I know what I'm doing it's pretty straightforward I'm like um, it's not the way it is I guess so we're at, uh, we're not using virtual sailor I'm using vehicle simulator because that's what I have so, sorry, Virtual Sailor people, I hate to disappoint you, I'm sorry, I don't have Virtual Sailor, <laughs> but anyways, I'm a little sick, I uh, just got dubbed for being sick, I've been sick for over a month, so i got better, I'm getting better, so anyways, uh, you gotta move the ships to the desired place, which is this, right here, so the way to get to that, you open up your file thing, and then go to your PC, little tab that looks like this right here, and then you click local disk, and then if you bought the game and everything else, it should have a file right here, you don't need to go into any of this or whatever, it should be just right here. Click on that, and then there should be a file called vehicles. Don't go to anything else, just go to vehicles if you want to put the main ships in here. As you can see, I bought some of uh, some of his ships right here, like Kiwatner and the updated ones, not the old ones. So, yeah, I bought the Olympic, the other Olympic class pack as well. He has the Titanic 1930 Olympic, 1911 Olympic, and the HMHS Britannic. So, yeah, once we're in this folder, go to the uh, designated uh, software folder it has. So. Virtual Sailor and Vehicle Simulator. So we are using Vehicle Simulator, so we want to click on that. 
and uh, oh wait, that's for later. So don't 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 actually click on this yet. Go onto the ships folder. Uh, yeah, ships, and then you got wrecks as well. So I don't think we need anything for wrecks because hey, yeah, it's a wreck. You know, you don't you don't go you know 15 knots down the ocean with a shipwreck. I mean, it just wouldn't make any sense. It would seem ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways, uh, without further ado, we got the two ships. We got HMHT Olympic, and we got the 1913 Olympic. After the Titanic sank, they added more lifeboats and more public features to, to the ship. So, once we're on that, on the ship's folder, highlight that, and then drag it to the vehicle's folder. Should take a bit to do. Okay, there we go. We have the folders in. By the way, I will be doing videos of the ship soon as well. Um, but anyways, we want to pull up the instructions again. So. Put the ships in. I think we could do the wrecks as well. Yeah, ships. Yeah. Do the same thing. Go to the wrecks and just drag it in there. And also, he did a really amazing job with these ships, by the way. And yeah, I just thought he did an absolutely amazing job. Be kind of cool if he did like uh, like the uh, armor as Britannic if it were like an ocean. I mean, if the Britannic was an ocean liner or something like that, that'd be kind of cool. I I would definitely look at that, buy it or something. That would be amazing because he has the HMS H yeah HMHS Britannic. I I I'm pretty sure I said HMS before. I mean, didn't mean to. It's HMHS, my bad. So, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if you did a Armorized Britannic. It'd be amazing. But, as you can see, there is the wrecks of the Britannic and Titanic. After, soon after the ship sank, uh, 1916, the 1976 version, Titanic, 1912, and 1986 when it was discovered. So, yeah. We highlighted those in, dragged them in. So, we're gonna go into the ships first before we go into the wrecks. So, for the instruments folder, you want to go to the root folder. Which I'm pretty sure is just the instruments folder. Which is pretty straightforward. So, we want to go to vehicle simulator. And... Because we are using vehicle simulator don't, don't go to the vehicle simulators folder if you're using virtual sailor because that will mess things everything up so just go to the designated if you have virtual sailor go to this if you have vehicle simulator go to that just making it clear so nobody gets mad at me or gets confused so once we're done with that we want to go to the instruments folder we are right here by the way just with the instruments folder go down here there we go. And we want to go to the instruments folder for the vehicle simulator. And we want to drag that right here. Um, I don't know if I want to replace. Let's just, I think we just replace the files and I don't think it's going to do anything bad. So. Yeah, if it, if you already bought the other one, I think you can just replace the older one. I guess it doesn't really matter. So just drag that in to the instruments folder, the designated folder for where it's supposed to be. Same for panels as well. I think panels. Yep, just go to the designated folder. The panels right here. Highlight Olympic, the, the uh, HMT, and the 1913 version into the panels folder. 
And then for the engines, I think you would want to do something different with the engines. I think I skipped the doors, but we'll go over that later. So for the engine, for people who don't read instructions, it says right here, move the engines uh, to the ship folder with the simulator used. So if you're using vehicle simulator, yeah, just just go to vehicle simulator right here. If you're using virtual sailor, pretty straightforward. So go click on the engines right here. It is. I think this is for both versions as well because there's they're reciprocating engines. I don't. They wouldn't change over through the years. I don't think. So once you're done, go to vehicles. And then let's just go to HMT Olympic, and then drag that into the uh, to the uh, folders. And you will want to do the same thing for the 1913 Olympic as well. Just do that. Do that. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and then the door animations, which is, if you don't know what the door animations are, it's basically just the watertight doors. That simulate like just the animation of it shutting and opening, which is pretty cool because, yeah, amazing. So, what says right here for vehicle simulator? Uh, says to move the door files into the into the ship folder. So same thing you'd want to do. Yeah. Pretty sure they meant to say 1913. I hope. Hope this isn't the wrong one. So you just drag that in there, right there. And then 1918, right here. Animations. Yeah, just drag those in. I don't think you really need to drag the folder in. I don't think. So, yeah. After that. We're done with this part right here for the vehicle simulator part. I don't know what the additions are, but for the... Let's go to the weapons for the HMT Olympic. This is only for... I think this is just only for the 1918 version, I think. Yeah, 1918. Don't put this in 1913 because that ain't going to do you good. So, just read the this right here. So, it's telling us to... Move it to the designated vehicle of no vehicle, jeez. Um, not, uh, to the weapons folder for the vehicle simulator. So you want to do that? So just put it weapons right here. Go to the Olympic vehicle simulator. Drag the weapons folder right here. And I think that's it for the weapons part. For the interior, where's the interior? Where does the interior go? I don't know. I think there's yeah more instructions right here, and you got this little JPEG file telling you where the yeah all all the interiors. I think it's divided up, but we're gonna add all of it because yeah we're just gonna do it. And yeah, so you got the. Uh, instructions telling you what you need to do for the interior so for the interiors uh, so the most difficult models of the interior it's the most probably the most difficult part to do I think That's what I was trying to say so installation vehicle for vehicle simulators you want to move the interiors folder into the instruments folder instruments folder so once you launch the game, it might, which, when you're in second person view or whatever, and you go into inside the ship, it might not look like it's not working. That's that's normal. That's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to go in first person view and wander around the ship. It's just I don't know why it's like that, but I think it just helps create less lag or something. I don't know. Same frame rates. I don't know. So we want to go to instruments, like we did. Interior, Olympic B. 
So let's drag all this, all the instruments folders, the interior folders into the instruments tab. <coughs> Which I think is going to take a little bit because they're big honking files. I don't know how big the files are. Pretty big. Place it. Yep. So we got everything in right here. We got Olympic 1913, all the all that stuff. So pretty simple to do. And uh, what's, what's the addition? Oh, okay. For the flares, I don't. Yeah, jets of water is for the. Uh, Sun is uh, done here. Should yeah, should show her here. Uh, the water flows with the hull, so I think that's the details that it was. Um, and then you get also signal flares. If you want, you could add Christmas, but I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, right here. So there's another pair of instructions right here. So, uh, where do we go? So, vehicle simulator, we want to move the water things into the Olympic class folder. So, let's go to that. So, we gotta go to the Olympic class folder into the instruments. If you want to add water moving, flowing with the hull. So, Olympic class... Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Oh, just yeah, right here. This looks like a very old, but is this the original? I'm just making sure. Uh, yep. So I had to replace everything else. Just making sure. So, let's just drag this in right here, what it's telling us to do. And I think for the flares, yeah. For a vehicle simulator, you want to move, move the flares, the Olympic class, move flares folder to the Olympic class instruments folder into the game. Move the source to the ship folder. Um, what? Um, okay. Because it's telling us to move the the flares folder into the instruments folder, but that again, it's telling us to move us to the weapons. I don't, I don't, under, I don't completely understand. So, I think, yeah, we could try to, yeah, we could try putting it right here. And then again, I'm, I'm curious, I wanted to uh, try to move it to the weapons folder. Right here. We could try that as well. Don't think it's gonna hurt. So, stores, 13, 18, I don't really know what that is, to be honest. It's telling us to. I have too many things open, so. Just put that back. Um, the source folder just goes, just goes into the vehicle of the, of the ship. I really don't know what the stores are, but we are just going to do that. 13. Here we go. Just, just do that, I guess. Yep. The 19, yeah, the 19 HMT Olympic, and then do the same thing. Uh, I don't really know. 
think they already is in it, so I don't want to mess with it. Yeah, um, I think that's it for the additions. Yeah. And then you just do the same thing, just move the instruments to the... For the wrecks, okay, this is for the wrecks right here, for the wreck of the Titanic and Britannic and all that. You want to move that to the instruments folder here. Yes. Oops. Room. There we go. Get that in there. And then the panels, just do that. Panels right here. And then move that right there. Which is right here, which is good. And then the ships we already put in. So Additions and yada yada yada. I think that's everything. Let's try it. Let's try to load it in because this is the first time I've put it in as well. So let's load it into Vehicle Simulator. So uh, let's just load in a. Uh, I don't know. Let's just let's new whatever. Just go right here. Just load in. So, yeah. We are on just water. Just in front of and then we got the HMT Olympic. Let's, let's load that in because I, I really want to see how awesome this is. Time now. Yep. Drinking my coffee. Just... Hello, I do apologize uh, for the technical difficulties. I the tech tech in all difficulties or whatever. How do you say it? Anyways, uh. I think I figured out the lag problem with the game. I just had to do some things with OBS. Probably could be like uh, too many captures at a time, and then it creates some lag with the game. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But I think I figured it out because I did some test runs with it. I'm hoping that the video is still running. But anyways, I uploaded the ship into the game. It didn't crash at all, don't worry shouldn't crash but anyways uh anyways i was saying about the second person view like this view right here you're like okay yeah uh, let's go check out the interior from this view well you're like what the heck it should be working uh well hate to bring it to you it's it's still working uh, you just have to go to first person view by pressing one and uh yeah Stop the simulation so I can uh, speed up, and well, bam, the interior should work like that. So, yeah, this is the Olympic 1918, and it is really rusty in here, very covered in very dirty. But anyways, uh, I'll be doing more videos of this Olympic class, so hope you guys uh, subscribe and watch more videos and I will be uploading more so thank you